I'm Glenn Van Arsdale, head of cardiovascular surgery at the Hospital for Sick Children. My primary job is to safely take care of children who have major problems with their heart. One of my secondary jobs is to get the next generation ready to take care of children who have major problems with their heart. 3D models are all about trying to help them do that safely, learning on models instead of learning on patients. I've been using the Stress Assist machine in the last four years. Initially, I started to use that for the better demonstration of the complex anatomy to cardiologists and cardiac surgeons. As soon as I found that Stress Assist has soft material to make the motors like this, I just right away I wanted to use this because this is closer to reality. With flexible material, this could be used for the surgical practice. Since the 2015, we have organized eight courses using 3D print models for the surgical simulation training. So this is the first time in history that we are providing real physical model for practice. See, that may be just a little bit short. So here's an opportunity with 3D models to make the mistakes on the models. And then when you go and perform on a baby, you're an expert performer already. Good. Exactly. And it's just fantastic for these trainees to have an opportunity to get the feel of it and actually do the real surgery so that when they do it on a baby, it's much more familiar and much safer. I think it's awesome practicing on a specific model to actually perform the surgery. It's necessary. It's mandatory for cardiac surgery as well. The uh, new material, it has the uh, better elasticity, better strength. So for the surgical procedures, the new material absolutely much better. The good things about them, they're really quite soft, so you can manipulate them very, very well. You can retract and do like better exposure because they are so malleable. I had opportunity to have a kind of direct communication with the Stress Assist team uh, to develop the materials and motors for the uh, application in congenital heart disease. So I find that this kind of collaboration is mutually productive and beneficial.